He came from Baltimore, Maryland in the spring of 41. Chasing rainbows, following the sun. Cancer took his wife and his unborn baby boy. He packed up his thing, moved off to Illinois. He found a job working there at a local paper mill. Still had a few things left in his life to fulfill. And he was a Christian he couldn't understand. How he'd been dealt such a god awful hand. Cause he was a brother. He was Bob of the Shoe Shine Man. And he left Chicago when we won the big world war. He had some family in Alabama that he'd been looking for. And it didn't take long for him to figure out. They weren't hiring too many black men down there in the deep south. He made some new friends and met some old kin, but he was tired of getting judged by the color of his skin. He wasn't one to rock the boat. He wasn't one to make a stand. He just knew he had to get the hell out of Birmingham. Cause he was brother. He was brother of shoe shining. He'll shine your shoes up for a dollar soul. If you give a little more, he might just make them go. Ball of the shoe shine. Here are the folks out in Texas, the right kind. So he hopped in a Greyhound in July of 49. And he knew it wasn't right, but he wasn't one to fuss. He just took his seat there at the back of the bus. He read a little Dickens, read a little Twain, realized the more that things change, the more they stay the same. And they pulled into Dallas amidst the blister and heat. And he walked around downtown just to see what he could see. Cause he was bothered. He was but a shoe shining. Had the shirt on his back, this old worn out pair of pants. He ran into this old friend named Joe Brown just by chance. He said, hey Butler, come with me. I got this shiny new automobile and a place to rest your head. Get yourself a few warm meals. As they were getting closer to his home out in Fort Worth, they pulled over at this gas station there just to quench their thirst. Bella saw this black man sitting at a shoe shine stand. The thought came across him, he decided to make himself a plan. And he worked some odd jobs, saved up a few saw bucks. He was sure the things in his life were starting to look up for old brother. For brother of the shoe shine man. He met this old pro, worked at a golf course across town. He said he might could use a good shoe shine man around. He'd entertain you with the story 
But while you're watched him do his work, I might tell you a few jokes I bet you probably never heard. Listening to Bala's stories was like hearing a history professor teach. And he could talk the Bible about as good as Billy Graham could preach. And it was 50 years to the day since his lovely wife passed on. The Lord came a calling, said, Son, I'm bringing you home. And I attended his funeral just to honor his name. And there was 4,000 others there that felt the same way that I did. About Bubba's shoe shine. He'll shine your shoes up for a dollar so. If you listen real close, I swear he might just touch your soul. Oh, Bubba. Bubba's shoe shine. Oh, I get to see you again. Thanks a lot for listening, guys. I appreciate it. Seven strong, right? So I give a big hand for uh, 